Shameless Series 1, Episode 7, titled Frank Garrier, A Loving Husband and a Virgin Father. And this episode is pretty much the weakest out of the bunch so far. I mean, you know, the the main plot is basically about um, Frank needed the, you know, basically it says, these hitmen from the previous episode says, Frank, hand us the six grand tomorrow or you are going to die and he's trying his way to find the six grand or at least get a grand something and he finds the only way to do it is fake his death and the family's trying to help and stuff on those lines and and that story like it just felt really and also the second one doing with uh Liam and uh, uh Joe uh, Cusack's character and how that the whole thing oh it's Liam and it's you know I, I get it it's trying to be like hey look at this happy fun time and I'm like okay oh that could easily be cut out and you know um, even though it's like 43 you know you can easily cut three make a 40 minute episode out out the voice just cut that for that you know what Liam is and it should be full stop um but also but the plot of with Frank, it, it, it's it's just one of those things where all the situations, all the whole thing, are like, okay, Frank's gonna be in trouble, A, B, and C, and, you know, that, but I don't know, maybe the whole him being, you know, we're, like, gangsters, or, you know, mobsters, just feels a little bit like we need to have something Frank can do. Frank needs to do something this episode, kind of stuff. Um, even, you know, it's kind of like we need to go crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier and it just, this felt, just, you're just doing crazy for the sake of crazy and just, it, it, I don't know, it's just thought maybe, I'm like, hey, I want, yeah, Frank, you know, swinging up the family, not, hey, he's swinging up himself and, you know, I find that more interesting. Now, with the other storylines I do find interesting, one's a serious topic, one is about uh, Steve trying to convince, uh, Fiona that, hey, everything's gonna be fine, <laughs> you can take a day off, y you know, there's, you know, you got all the siblings, you got neighbours who are happy to help and take care of the kids and stuff in those lines, that the house isn't gonna burn down if you don't show up, and, and Steve's like, you know, just go to a hotel and have a night to ourselves and, and she's kind of like I like I can't I can't I can't like maybe I should call and it's like no no no, 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 no. put the phone out put the phone out you know um, you know time to have a breather just go <sighs> yeah that I quite enjoyed um, but also like one you know if you really think about Shameless is a show that takes on serious matters but also is able at the same time take take the piss out of it. Because you got the uh, Ian storyline where uh, Cash has been robbed and has taken his and his gun's been taken and of course he knows who he is who he is and he wants to take the gun back and, and return the gun and stuff on his lines. And because of that it it gives some really comedic moments. Weird comedic moments. Um, you know, subtle dry sense of humor really i mean there's a part doing with cat you know getting caught of being in a bed with the same gender joke and i'm like you know it fits the character and it kind of works and normally i wouldn't laugh at it or even do a little <laughs> a little chuckle but somehow it works um but that storyline, it's more like, hey, serious, but also we take the piss out of it. Um, that, you know, really works with the show and and uh, stuff, on, stuff on those lines. So, yeah, I do find the week is definitely with the main story, but, uh, you know, all the other things around it kind of still make the episode enjoyable.